All right, everyone, and welcome back to your NC Go workout. My name is Jason. I'll be taking you through it. I'm super excited for this one. As per usual, we're going to have our five minute warm up, get into a 15 minute EMOM, and then finish it up with this four round workout. What you're going to need for today is a set of dumbbells. If you don't have a set of dumbbells, maybe one dumbbell. If you don't have one dumbbell, grab some type of external load. We're going to have some fun with it. We're going to have a great time. What we're going to do now is we're going to start off with one dumbbell. We're going to go ahead and warm up for one minute of cardio of your choice. You could do up downs. They look like this. You could do jogging. You could do bike. You could do whatever you want for one minute. Just get your heart rate a little bit elevated. We'll move from there. Moving on, we have a three round strict press and goblet squat. Then we finish it up with these V ups. Don't worry. I got your back the whole time. Fall along with me. All you need right now is a dumbbell and let's get our heart rate up for one minute. We start in 10 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and just jog. Side shuffle, keep it pretty basic, nothing crazy. Ready, one minute, two, one, and let's go. Nice and easy. I'm just side shuffling, haven't done these in a little bit, trying to get my body moving. One of our goals with these warm ups is just to get our heart rate elevated, and this is a great way of doing that. But we're not trying to go too hard, we're just trying to get our body primed and ready for what is to come. If that feels weird, go ahead and just jog it out regular, right? Jog, maybe touch the floor. Anybody can do this. Work at your own pace. Got about 30 seconds left. Then we're gonna grab onto our dumbbell and move on to the next piece for today's workout. Wanna thank you all for being here with us. Got about 10 seconds remaining. Five seconds, and let's grab a dumbbell. Here we go. All we're gonna do is take this dumbbell, shoulder press this. We're gonna be in this position. Go ahead and just press overhead. Nice and easy for 30 seconds. We have 15 more seconds. If you only have lighter dumbbells, maybe use two instead of one. Here we go. In three, two, one, from here. We're gonna hold that dumbbell in this goblet position. We're just gonna descend down nice and easy into our squat, keeping our chest nice and tall. We have this dumbbell to counterbalance us, which is nice. What I'm thinking about, keep my weight towards my heel, keep my chest nice and tall, my hips hinge back to load the position. Five seconds, two, one, and back to that shoulder press. From here, straight line, brace the belly overhead. Think about moving a straight path with your elbows leading on the way down. There you go. Brace the belly. Five seconds. Warming up those shoulders. They're getting ready. Two, one. Goblet time. Hold that dumbbell back in that rack position. A little bit different than the front rack and a front squat. Not better, not worse, just different. Boy, I'm a little stiff. Got to open up my ankles a little bit. I don't know about you guys. I think one more round of this is gonna feel good. Get me ready for what is to come. Five seconds. All right. Shoulder press time. Depending on what load you're using, maybe get a few more reps. Maybe focus on strength a little bit slower. That's okay. Ten seconds. Bracing the belly, staying engaged the entire time. Reaching up to the sky. Two, one. All right. Everybody's favorite time. Last round. Oh, see, I'm already feeling more warmed up. My ankles are already priming. Fight for that range of motion, especially the dumbbell in front of you. It's a nice way to counterbalance yourself. 
five seconds or so. Three, two, one. All right. Whoop. Next step. Let's go ahead and lay on the floor. One minute V-up. We're just gonna take our feet, bring them to our hands here. Now, if you're doing these, and these are really tough for you, switch it out to here. Nice, easy two cases, but not really that easy. Or, if you need to, sit-ups. We're just warming up. Man, I don't know who put in these V-ups in a warm-up, but I'm not ready for them yet. Just kidding. Let's have fun. There you go. Drive it up. 15 seconds. Trying to meet your toes and your hands right in the middle. Three, two, one. All right. Nice job. Woo. Warm up is complete. We're feeling good. Okay. Next step. We have a split squat. Okay. So you take your right foot and go in front almost like this lunge position. And all we're looking to do is essentially imagine you took a ball and you just dropped it right below your hips. And the ball just dropped straight to the floor and back up again. All we're going to do is be in that position, alternate, opposite. And what I'm thinking about is not being so narrow, but actually being squat width apart. So I take my squat, I adjust my feet, I drop straight down as if a straight line or a piece of rope was dropping right off my chest, okay? We're gonna do that for 25 seconds right leg, 25 seconds left leg. The next minute, we're gonna take a dumbbell, okay? Find a weight that works for you. We're gonna go upright rows. So from this position, be here, pulling, pulling. Nice, you know, kind of trap and pulling exercise, lat exercise, getting that nice strengthening there. Right arm, left arm, again, 25, 25, and then, we hold a plank, either in a push-up, on our knees if you need to, however you want to do it, on your elbows, for 50 seconds, okay? So identify some weights that work for you, take out some dumbbells, and let's get ready to show, to have some fun. Either grab, maybe if you don't have some dumbbells, grab a backpack, all good. Whew, it's a good day to get a little bit more fit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 15 minute EMOM, meaning every minute on the minute starts soon. If you want to, you can load up this split squat or do it with no weight and just body weight. Totally up to you. I got your back. 15 minute EMOM. Let's go. Here we go. Right leg forward, 25 seconds, what we're fighting for right now. Two, one, squat with, drop. Keep my chest nice and tall. I'm extending my back leg. A little bit different, right? 10 more seconds, keep burning it out. Warm up was already great, but now it's time to kind of get into this beautiful EMOM. Three, I'm thinking about dropping my knee, grazing it to the floor. If you don't have one of these NC Fit mats, today would be a good day to go get one because they make this a lot better. There you go. Drop. Five more seconds. All right, and relax, okay? 50 seconds, next step, take your dumbbell, all right? Ready, two, one, pull. There you go. Trying to get that all the way up to my chin. I don't do these as often as I probably should. Nice way to switch it up today. Five seconds. It's like our strength session right now. Ah. Switch it out, same exact thing. Elbow high and outside. You're gonna wanna use body language here. I get it. You're gonna wanna do this. I get it. Try not to. Five seconds. Shh. Shh. All right. Nice. 
Whew. Already good. Already getting good. Plank time. Ready? And why don't we hold it in the push-up this time? Now, as I'm holding this push-up plank, there's a few options for me. Yes, I can be back here. But I can also be more over my hands which almost makes it like a front-leaning rest. It makes it a little bit more challenging. So try and find a position that works for you. Bracing your stomach the entire time. Here we go, halfway done. And then we get back to those split squats. You know, I want to thank you guys for being here with us. Whether you're a, you know, first time viewer, or you've been doing these workouts just for a long time, we really appreciate all of you. Five seconds. Three, two, one. All right. Woo! Right leg in front, left leg back. Squat stance, about shoulder apart, and drop. If you're feeling good right now, take some dumbbells, hold them to your side. All good. I'll add that in a little bit. Maybe even holding a front rack could be interesting. Five seconds. And relax. All right, next step. I'm dropping into a seat almost. Keeping on that back toe. You know, for any of you guys, to do any type of split jerk. It's kind of a receiving position, give or take. And relax. All right, upright row. A little heavier. Got a couple dumbbells out here. And let's go. If you're in front of a mirror, getting your little pump on, even better. Almost seemed like starting a lawnmower. Ah. Back in the day, you'd be at a lawnmowing business, bah, pulling it high, bah, and outside. If you've never started a lawnmower, you're like, what the hell are you talking about? Another way to think about it is like zipping up your jacket. How about that one? That's a good analogy. 10 seconds. Drive it. All right. Woo. Guess what? Playing time. I'm gonna go elbows. I don't know about you. Let's try it. You know, when you're on your elbows, right? You can drop down your knees if you need to. Support yourself. You can be here, but keep your body nice and rigid. Don't have your body, your butt super high in the air. Don't have it super low, just nice and neutral. Here we go, 25 more seconds. Fifteen seconds. Let's get it. Last ten. Two, one. All right. This time, we all try the dumbbell. Have some fun with it. See how this feels. Right leg in front. You're gonna drop. Is it right? Is it wrong? It's different. It's all good. If you want to, you can even hold this up overhead. Ten seconds. Front rack. Switch legs, switch arms. Whoosh. All right, about 20 seconds. It's a little different here. Five seconds. Two, one. All right, Whew. that was tough. 
Almost done with this round. Ready. And let's row it. Here. Straight up. Five seconds. Elbows high and outside. If you need to, drop the weight down, do less reps, or if you really have to, grab like a bottle of milk. Grab something lighter. All good. Two, one, ah. Whew. That was good. All right, here we go. Ready? Plank. I'm going to go with the uh, push-up plank. You could also do a side plank if you guys want to, right? Keeping your hips up, great alternative. Also be on this side, go 30-30. Excuse me, 25-25. <laughs> Basically when we're doing a plank, we're trying to think about is bracing our abs and resisting any type of change. Which is what makes it tough, right? We're not, we're not doing sit-ups. We're not flexing and extending. We're, we're resisting. We're fighting. That's the goal. Fight, 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 fight. Five seconds. Hold that position. Don't let those hips drop or let those hips come too high. Two, one. All right, here we go. Ready. Two, one. 15-minute EMOM. Why am I grabbing a dumbbell? Why not? Speeding it up a little bit. These shouldn't be too crazy for you. Before today's over, we will get a little crazy. But right now, we're having fun. Switch arms, switch legs. Ten seconds. Two, one, and next step, upright row. Here we go. Two, one, pull it. You know, your kid, you gotta get him out of the pool or her. Grab the bathing suit, pull him up out of the pool. <laughs> a lot of functional strength here in these. Ah, that's our goal at NC Fit. Give you the tools so you can go ahead and get outside the gym and do the things you want to do. I have to use that body language. It's getting tough, I know. I know. I want to use it too. And don't short that range of motion. Get that thing all the way up there. Ooh, there you go. Woo. All right, plank time. What do you guys want to do? Elbows? All right, good talk. Elbows. There we go. Yep, yep. Finally, 35 seconds. This is our last round coming up. Right now, it should be pretty primed. You should be feeling like you're getting some work done. Sweat should already start being a little bit. Perspiration should be occurring on your, on your forehead. 15 seconds. Last 10. Last round. This one's getting a little tough. All right. That one got a little real. I don't know about you guys. That's pretty difficult, actually. 
Here we go. Take that dumbbell. Put it wherever the heck you want. Put it on your back if you want to try it there. And bang it out. It's a little something different. Should grab some heavier dumbbells. That's okay. I'm gonna go grab some after this. Couple more seconds. Nice stretch too, right? We're in that hip flexor. I don't know if you guys feel that, but it feels good. Opposite leg. Trying to keep my knee, excuse me, my shin, more or less vertical, particularly in the front leg. As I descend, then I'm extending as I come back up. Last round on these, nice pulling activity. Get in front of that mirror, show off those guns. Here we go. Have some fun with it. If you want to switch up a little bit, come from here, maybe even here, right? Ah, have fun with it. Here we go, a couple more seconds. Ah. All right, switch arms, big pulls. Normally we want to get the hips involved. Not now, not today, right now. We will in a minute. Gonna hang power clean. Ah. Five seconds. And relax. All right, here we go. Plank hold coming up. Ready. Two, one. I'm gonna go a little bit on the side, actually. Keep my hips up. If you're joining me for this, it's a little challenging to keep your hips up. You're gonna wanna drop them down. Try to avoid that. Five seconds. All right, I'm gonna switch up my size. Keep my hips tall. If it's easy, you might be sagging. Try and pull them up and you'll really feel it in your oblique area. About five seconds, guys. And relax. All right. Awesome work, crew. Whew, that was 15 minutes, right? Yep, 15 minutes. Okay. So here's what you got to do next, all right? The next thing is going to be a push-pull workout of the day. It's going to be four rounds, okay? You're going to do one, mil one round of DB reverse lunges. Now, you can hold a single dumbbell in your front rack. Or hold two dumbbells to the side. You do that for one minute. You'll then rest for 30 seconds. You're then going to do dumbbell hang power cleans. Here, jumping to your shoulder. You do that for one minute, rest 30. You're then going to do hollow body flutter kicks. You're going to lay on the floor, hollow it out, and flutter kick for one minute. You then have an amazingly sufficient one minute rest. So today's workout, one minute on, 30 seconds off, one minute on, 30 seconds off, one minute on, one minute off. Dude, it's like whoever was writing these programs was trying to give us this generous, generous break. So find some dumbbells. I'm gonna grab a little bit heavier ones and uh, let's get ready to rock and roll. I'm more than excited about the break that we have today. A lot of times we don't have that same break. Someone was being very generous with us today. Oh boy, that's a heavy one. All right. Let's go. All right. Let's do this. Starts off with the reverse lunge. So I'm going to place those right there at my side. And then we'll work on the hang power clean. Okay, guys. I got your clock. Ride with me. We're going to have some fun. This one's going to be really good. Okay? One minute dumbbell reverse lunges. Take your dumbbells, hold them at your side. Reverse lunge, that's all I need you to think about right now. You guys got this, let's get ready to rock. Whew. I'm already sweating a little bit. Feeling good. Feeling good. 
All right, reverse it. Ah! I'm holding two dumbbells inside. If you want to, drop one and place it across your chest. Great alternative for today. Remember, you have a 30 second break after this, so let's keep going non-stop. Try not to slam your back knee into the floor. Try and graze it. Holding these dumbbells, what I'm thinking about is almost hook gripping, if you know what that is. We're trying to get some sort of solid grip on these dumbbells. 20 seconds remaining. Let's go. It's only four rounds. That's it. Five things. Two. One. Whew. Whew. All right, here we go. Dumbbell hang power clean. Ten seconds. Ready. Take those dumbbells. All right. Let's go. Down and jump. I'm thinking up. I'm thinking down. Up. Down. Up. Thirty seconds remaining. We got thirty second break. Come on, Jay. What are you doing? Uh, jump it. Jump. Using my hips. Jump these bad boys up. Ten seconds. Uh, two. One. All right. We go again in three, all right? We go again in three. Lay on the floor, flutter kicks. You guys got this. Woo. Three, two, one. Hollow rock position. Flutter kick. I'm putting my hands underneath my butt. You can or cannot do that. Totally up to you. If this is too challenging for you, come in here and kick with your knees this way. It's a lot easier if you're keeping your shoulders off the floor. Press out. Try and just hold that. If you need to, rest and recover. Here we go. 30 seconds. Let's get back to it. Do a little pump. We got one minute. 15 seconds. Ladies and gents, let's do it. One minute break after this. is a long time. That's a long break. 10 seconds. Ah. Start to feel your quads a little bit. Two, one. Wow. Whew. All right. So. Adjust your weight if you need to, okay? I'm gonna stick a little bit of heavier weight um, just so I wanna switch up a little bit. Push myself a little bit with the loading instead of just the speed, but final works for you. 30 seconds and go again. We call this a push and a pull. We're doing a lot of pulling. Not as much push today. So you can say the plank is a push. Uh, that's about it. Yeah. Not, not as much pushing today, but that's good. Here we go. 15 seconds. Every day is a little different here at NC Fit. Whether you're in our Metcon program, our X program, or our Go program, we got you covered. Friends over at Ready State have our mobility covered, which is great. We go in three seconds. In two, one, 
Let's take those dumbbells. Let's get some work done. The goal is to go for the whole minute. We already know that we have that rest coming up. I'm personally hook gripping my dumbbells. What that means, I'm taking my thumbs and I'm placing it underneath my uh, index and what, middle finger. Here we go. 15 seconds. Oh man, that was good. Hold on to those suckers the whole time. Good stuff. Okay, next step, hang power clean. I know what I need to do. If two is too much for you, I'll show you how to do it with one. Two, one, let's go. If two is too much for you, come in here, hang, power. This is more of a hang muscle clean. Dip back underneath it. Try with one. There you go. Ugh. Let's go inside here. Ugh. This is more of a hang. Muscle clean. When I re-dip, that's a power clean. Again, I can hook grip here. 15 seconds. All right, 10 seconds. Now I got the clock. See those clock perfectly. Here we go. You guys ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. If you need to change that, we go ahead. Oh, yeah. Here we go, crew. We're going for one minute right now. That's tough. If it was easy though, as we always say, everybody be doing this. If you need to, hold one, hold two, hold one, hold two. Keep going. The hollow rock position, your belly should be braced. Your shoulders should be off the floor. If you're having a hard time doing that, then just lay back. Let's go. A lot of hip flexor right here. Completely different stimulus. We need to split time. Ah. Ten seconds. We got a minute break after this. I'm pretty stoked for that. Three, two, one. Oh. Woo. That was good. All right. That was a good round. Okay. One minute on, one, 30 seconds off. One minute on, 30 seconds off, one minute on. We're only doing three minutes of work. So we have a lot of rest. I mean, shoot, you have two minutes of rest in that whole round. Okay, crew, we got 30 seconds. Mentally, physically, we had to go on this next one. I gotta decide. Inside or outside my legs. But I hang power clean. Big decision to make. You know, if that's the biggest decision I make all day, boy, it's a good day. 10 seconds. Three, two, 
One, let's go. Hook grips on, drop it down. If you want to, you want to switch up a little bit, go forward. Very similar to the split squats we did earlier. Twenty seconds. If back's not feeling good, forward, honey, go back. I actually like back better. Ten seconds. Trying to keep my chest upright. Trying to avoid my body caving over. Two, one. Woo! A little grippy now. I don't know about you guys, a little grippy on those. Here we go. Five, two, one, let's go. I'm going from outside. That was the big decision. I'm hinging at my hip. I'm loading my hips. I'm driving up hard. If your knees start to cave in, fight for that. If you can't pop it up here, okay? Drop back underneath. Fifteen seconds. Ooh. Come more reps. Yeah. All right. Woo. That was a tough round. Oh, tough round. Not gonna lie. That's good though, you know? What do you want to say? Well, that's an easy round? No. Here we go. Flutter kick. Ready. Two, one, let's go. We stop when that clock hits 14. And then guess what? We have one more round after that. And we're done for the day. Oh yeah. Thirty seconds remaining. Fight for it right now. This is where the money round's gonna play. If this is easy for you, brace your belly even harder down. Really squeeze that belly button. Flatten out that low back. That's the key. It's tough though. Woo. It's real tough. It's real good though. 10 seconds. You and me crushing it. Five seconds. Two, one. Oh. Woo. Huh. All right, one more round. One more round. You know, a couple random facts. I'm not sure how many of you guys have been checking how much you've been hydrating lately, but I've realized over the years that water intake and hydration is so much easier when I hold myself accountable to a specific jug a certain amount of times. Just something to think about for you guys. I also like to wake up in the morning. First thing I do is I take two giant cups of water and pound them because uh, I'm what you call a coffee addict. I'm, a, I'm okay with admitting it. I drink a lot of coffee. And because of that, I need to, oh, I need to compensate by making sure I stay hydrated. So first thing in the morning, two big cups. Great way to start the day. Let me start off with five seconds, guys. 
Sorry for my babbling. Here we go. Let's get it. Hook grip time. Reverse lunge. I'm gonna release the hook grip. Try and grab to the top of the dumbbell. See how that feels. Keeping in mind it's my last round. Try and go non-stop. Here we go. Ugh, fight for it. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Let's go. Ah, two, one. Oh. Woo. Huh. A lot of forearm there. Last time hitting these. Fingertips over my thumbs is the goal. Five seconds. Two, one, let's get it. Down, up, down. Best coaches I've ever had. Keep it simple. Hinge, drive, drop. Let's go. 30 seconds remaining. Let's not drop these suckers. We've gone too long and too hard to drop these now. 15 seconds. Ten. One. Woo. Woo. All right. Last minute. Hollow hold. Flutter kicks. This will take us to 19. And then we're done. That's all she wrote for today. Three, two, one, let's go. I'm really trying to keep my shoulders off the floor. Your quad should be tight. If you want to point your toes, you can. I'm not really thinking too much about that. I'm thinking more about bracing my belly button to the floor. Thirty seconds. Hold it. A lot of money's made here, right? Throughout the workout, we go through a series of exercises, literally to get us to this point. Brace it, fight it. Let's go. Ten seconds. Ah. Three, two, one. Time. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we got in a five minute warm up. We got in a 15 minute EMOM. We got in a 19, 20 minute workout. And boy, am I feeling good and I'm ready to take on the rest of my day. I hope you and your families are doing well. Thank you so much for supporting NC Fit and everything we have going on. Keep getting after it, keep crushing it. Let's go. <laughs>